In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus MgOH2. This is perchloric acid plus magnesium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. So I can see I have two perchloride ions here, just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 as my coefficient here. Now I can see that I need to put a 2 in front of the H2O, and this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So HClO4, that's a strong acid. It's going to be a strong electrolyte, aqueous. Magnesium hydroxide, mostly insoluble. I'm going to consider this a solid. Perchlorates, they're very soluble. Put an AQ. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions. This is the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen on the periodic table, group 1, that has a 1 plus, and the whole perchloride ion is a 1 minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't write that now, plus a perchloride ion, ClO4 minus. We don't split the magnesium hydroxide part into the ions because it's a solid, so just MgOH2. So those are the reactants on the products, magnesium group 2, 2 plus, we said the perchloride ion, Minus, so we have Mg2 plus in the products, plus we have two of these perchlorate ions, so 2ClO4 minus, and we don't split water apart in ionic equations, net ionic equations, so we'll put that 2H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation, also called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're ions that appear on both sides of the reaction. I can see right away I've made a mistake here. I have two hydrogen ions, but I forgot to have the two in front of this perchloride ion. I need to have a two. This two goes to everything. So now I'm looking at spectator ions. I can see I have these two perchloride ions in the reactants and the products. So since they're the same, I cross those out. Everything else, though, is different. So this is the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus MgOH. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for perchloric acid plus magnesium hydroxide. I can see that charge is balanced. I have two positive charges on this side, two positive charges on this, and I have the same number of each type of atom on both sides. The mistake I made earlier, I would catch that if I looked at charge, made sure that was conserved, and also made sure that matter or mass was conserved as well. So that's a good check to run at the end. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.